this is Robin Moses, and I am here with the one that is going to be named right now. You guys have told me a million names that you want me to name her, and we were calling her Cat Scratch Fever. So, I am going to read out the names. She didn't know. She doesn't know because none of my clients watch my dang videos. So, anyways, Puppy is the best name. This is from jo Joanna. Puppy is the best name. She is kind, makes you cry, and has the cutest dog. <laughs> this is from Mad Jenny. Ab oh, wait, hold on, let's see. Okay, D Hunter. How about Tiny Tears? Carrie, kind eyes. <laughs> Emma, cry baby. <laughs> Enki, uh, let me see, hold on. Um, Stephanie, lovable. Aww. Christina, sweetheart. Oh, you guys are too sweet. I know. Gurpri, uh, let me see. Um, Goddess says, uh, I'd say sweet genuine for her name. Oh. Peric, oh, I love Peric. Peric says, Miss Sensibility. Oh. Um, Lily Love. Oh. Ben, <laughs> What If It's Heartfelt by Detosha, who oh. I love. I love Detosha. Heartfelt. heartfelt. Uh, Patty. Says heartstrings. And okay, hi, this is Robin Moses, and while we are back, I started this tutorial with Fairy Tale by Julie G. Or you can use any, any really light purple, or you can take a purple and add white to it and make it a light purple. It doesn't have to be a specific purple. I took Wet and Wild Black, and you know how I do the side uh, diagonal Frenches. I've done a lot of them on film, so if you want to look up Robin Moses diagonal French, maybe I'll have them as video responses in the in the description box below. But um, in the comment section, there we go. I have um, greens. I have a real beautiful lime and a nice shiny gold green and a dark green. And then I have white, purple, and a dark blue. So I'm going in. We have decided that we, okay, oh, and also we have a winner. We, we've been talking um, off camera while I was painting this design. And we love Compassionista. So Fabby Girl, one, Fabby Girl 11, thank you so much. We love it. Compassionista. Thank you. <laughs> we are now named. We love it. We, well, actually, while we had more fun when we when we did pick it, but we couldn't get it all on film because it was just so so much to film. So um, I'm going down with a striping brush down the down the sides like this, like this, and like that. Going, making sure that the stripe is covered. Um, I will go with black paint and get the sides in because I'm a uh, OCD like that, and then. I am going to take a brush that is a liner brush and here we go. I'm going to try to show you how I'm going to pull this paint. I'm going to run this together in a circle and make a whirlpool and then pull down. Okay, push up, push up and pull. Push up, push up, pull. Up up, pull, that, okay? I know it seems, it seems really easy and you're not going to get the same results as me at first, but if you keep on practicing, I promise you it gets easier. If you get a, a, a leaf that's too bright, just add a little, go back over in your dark, in your dark spot right over here and add a little bit over here and then you'll have a darker leaf like that but you don't want to pay too much attention to that. You just want a few lights and... Okay, so now for my third... Look, I'm... <laughs> there we go. I'm going to go in and make my five prong flower. One, two, three, four, and five. And one, two, three, and five. And... I'm gonna do one down here. The other side has one on the top. We'll just mix them up. All right. Now for the next step, I'm gonna use the purple that I had shown you before, mixed with white. Do do. Oh, I need light. 
Sorry. There we go. And. Whoa, I can see. <laughs> okay, and I'm going three quarters of the way in with the color that matches the background of the nail polish. This will let, allow them to blend a little bit. Exactly, there you go, let's scroll down. And I have just the tiniest amount of uh, paint on my brush that's almost dry. Is that like one bristle on that brush? Yeah, darn well, near. darn near. Yeah. And it's still too big. There we go. There, so that's why you need it so thin, the polish. Because you really want it to feather like that. Okay, and I'm back, and I'm just going to add some dots and make sure that everybody sees. Um, I went along a few of these and made a few little um, uh, filigree lines, kind of like little vines going. And I'm just dotting in the centers, and the doctor's here. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that, bridges! <laughs> so, I, so I'm going to make this easy and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, and here are the finished nails. Let me scroll down a little bit so you can see better. Oop, that's too much. Okay, and then I'll go back. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So check me out and spread the word and I'll see you back with more. Everybody have a great night! Bye! Bye. Good night, Compassionista. Good night. <laughs>